Okay, so here we are. Hey, okay. so now we have everything underneath the hood installed. Just wanted to just show you the gist of it. Um, so down here, the motor mount itself, the bracket, you can see a nice red bracket, bolts from the standard transmission uh, to the motor, and the coupler is inside there from shaft to shaft. Um, motor mounts, a little bit of trick, a little bit tricky there, trying to get your motor mounts just right. But uh, just take some angle iron and uh, in you make what you need. The main one here that I thought was very important was uh, right from the front, went right across from the front one, two bolts onto the bracket and then of the transmission and then bolt to the other uh, motor mount on the car. That holds that motor nice. And the front motor mount here, I need some square tubing. Perfect. Picked up some um, aluminum, made a nice uh, plate to hold everything. And so just your, your controller and your fuse box, your kill switch and the fuse box cable. That goes down around inside to the car. Um, here's your air pump with the airline that goes over to your brakes. So your vacuum assist brakes. So vacuum pump, I should say. And then your power steering pump right there with the reservoir. Um, and then goes down to the steering rack. And then um, you see you put your car battery back in and that's just easier than trying to wire up all your accessories, you know, headlights, mirrors, fans. Put that back in, hook it on, and then it's all live. But then you just gotta charge it because you don't have an alternator anymore. So here's your DC to DC converter. Takes that main power and trickle charges the battery. And uh, that's about it up front here.